Hey Keith, two quick things to share with you. Um, here's that old bike that I got from someone. I gave it to me. And here is a little Diana that I uh, purchased from a bike shop. And it was in one of the little um, just miscellaneous piles of used goods. It has a cool little uh, feature where it disengages and it's not touching. And you press it. Then you press it down, release, and it just applies pressure so it turns. The motor spins, but dynamos on bikes create AC electricity, and it sends the electricity up the wire, and it turns on a little condescent bulb, but I wanted to use LEDs, so I wired a bridge rectifier circuit in here, and that transforms the electricity from AC to DC, and then I run it to this little flashlight. I'm going to cut the flashlight down and stick it in here so it's all together. It's not done yet, but anyways, I just wanted to show you what kind of light it puts on. It's pretty awesome. Let's see if I can get it set up here. All right. Hand it down so you can see. That's a pretty good light. That's like riding pace right there. And I'll check to make sure that you saw that. And the other thing is over here in our house, in this room, we have our wood burning stove. Well, my roommate lives right down here underneath us, and he's in the basement. It's freezing cold. Well, he ran a space heater all the time, and we figured we might be able to use some kind of thing and create a heater for his room using our wood-burning stove. That's our heat for the house. So, I looked online to see what was available, and we ended up getting air ducting. It's flexible, goes out to 8 feet. This is a 6-inch hose. There just happens to be a hole in the chimney that goes down to his room right there. And we put an inline air booster fan, got it off of um, eBay or something like that for about 24 bucks. And it, you, be, you just plug it into 120 volts um, AC, just house electricity, and it pulls about 250 cubic feet per minute of hot air, just residual hot air radiating out from the wood burning stove and kicks it into his room and he just unplugs it when he doesn't need any more heat. Um, it's ridiculous how warm it is in his basement and it doesn't seem any cooler in here so um, this thing gets really hot and this room is overheated anyways so it's kind of nice to be able to move the air around so that is that.